So just to give a basic overview of what I have set up, I have uh, pretty much three fish habitats going on. You can see right here this blue line pool is a hole I dug in the ground, put a, a, sw a kid's swimming pool in it. It cost me $25 and a little bit of labor to dig the hole. All these parts around it that uh, I've gotten uh, recycled from other building projects that my friends were able to donate the, the rocks and everything. So a little bit of cost going into that. Um, up here we have the tote system, which uh, a lot of people do just that, just this one system right here which is this food storage tote, which you cut and uh, put the top on, have water flow through right from the bottom to the top. Uh, you can see how the plants are growing up there, doing pretty good. So that system works all by itself, plenty good. Uh, mine happens to be built on top of a rocket stove. So uh, the rocket stove is a good heating source for in the winter. Build a little fire right down in here goes up in this heat stack, gets forced back down into a, a large air mass that's underneath this thing, heating it all up. So that works pretty well. Um, that's one way to do it. It just rained, so that's why it's uh, a little bit wet right here. This top pond that you can do out of cement, uh, which I did, you can see here I built a retaining wall to hold up the side and uh, dug down a little bit and made a form in there for the cement. and. Works great, got a little uh, bird bath. Um, I don't know if you can see the siphoning system, the way it works. Basically, I pump uh, water from that very bottom pond down there up into the top part of this uh, food tote thing. And that drips down into there. Then you can see there's a siphon that runs straight out of the side and there's also another one that comes out the other side. Um, but wherever that water level is on the side, you can see, is matching that it's going to go and drip down into this biological filter that I have which is a, a lot of room for bacteria to grow in there as well so it's one of my bacteria farms the other one is down there my planting bed which I, I just got planted and up here which has been growing for a little while um, anyway and the same thing with the siphon here pretty much have a drain coming out the other side of that uh, there's a little kind of a fish tank area there where I'm growing duckweed. Show you in a minute. But uh, same thing where that water level comes up to the top of there. Then from here, I just have everything flow downhill. These ponds are probably going to be planting areas in a minute. But uh, let's see how that goes. So it just flows down from one to the next to the next. And then this planting area, which I just seeded recently, had a couple that I started before. You can see the peas are coming up here. Uh, there's an onion that was left over from before. <coughs> a couple things that are just kind of lingering around. And then from there it drips down back into the original pond. And then I just have the one pump. You can see the tube coming up the side. It goes right up into the top there. And the whole thing is it's just a circular system that uh, keeps feeding itself. And it, as long as I keep balanced, I have the one two, three fish areas, a few bacteria areas, a couple planting areas. As long as I keep that all balanced, I should be good.